All right, we are officially in top four, boys. Joel versus the fattest of kids. <clears throat> Fat kid uh, with the huge upset on Chez. Oh, honestly, Chez just didn't even stand any chance. It was actually like a huge annihilation. I'm actually amazed. It just goes to show because like Fat Kid's actually been subscribed a few times, and maybe you know if he Twitch primes, he could probably even beat Joel. But um, yeah, Chez just standing no chance and going for the nair to soccer ball. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Um, anyways. Joel versus, uh, yeah, Fat Kid. Grandview versus Hermiston. I think uh, Joel obviously is a heavy favorite for this uh, match. But uh, let's see. Fat Kid's been playing pretty well today. I mean, he did beat Sinbad. Uh, he almost beat, or he beat Green as well. So. <laughs> okay, and gets hit by the Nikita. Joel taking the first stock lead. Now, <clears throat> I don't know. I I actually really have no idea how this matchup would go. I imagine not too, too terribly well for Wii Fit Trainer. Just because, I mean, like, Snake just has a lot of stuff to set up uh, stage control against Wii Fit Trainer. And I don't know necessarily that Wii Fit struggles to approach, but her projectiles certainly are not nearly as good as Snake. Uh, and Snake has a similar, if not better, punish game even than, say, a deep breathing Wii Fit Trainer. Uh, I mean, that's certainly arguable, but there's a case to be made for it, which is uh, unfortunate because Joel absolutely has a better, or uh, Snake absolutely has a better punish game than base Wii Fit Trainer is the thing. Um, and Joel is, well, I don't know, like maybe you'd be able to get deep breathing off more often, but I'm not so sure about that. Snake is kind of slower, but... The ability to pressure from so far away with so many projectiles means that uh, it's probably fairly difficult to get a deep breathing off without it getting hit. I mean, you saw that back there. Ooh, great tech chase by Joel. You saw that back there where um, in fact, it, like got the deep breathing, but he got hit by a grenade. And if it was just a little bit sooner, he would not have gotten it. Also, that dash attack, I can almost guarantee you, was supposed to be run off fair by Joel. Absolutely loves doing that. Is that going to be the stock? Yep. It's the jab, one, two, three, Barry. Jab to up smash. Huh. Interesting. Does anyone know how good Wii Fit's berry is? Like, could you actually mash out of that at that percent? Or... Ooh. Joel with the fast fall. He was a little bit, uh... It's risky to go for that stuff. Like, if he had a lag spike right there, he w that would be the game. I guess the dash attack, Nikita, this might be the stock. Oh wait, Joel's on last, wait, when did Joel get to last stock? Hang on, I thought Joel was winning. Wait, what happened? Wait, Fat Kid's, hang. Okay, I, I feel like I missed something like really big. <laughs> I, that's gonna be the first game, no it's not. I forgot, Snake's heavy. Ooh, gets hit by the soccer ball. And that's gonna be the first game. Go into Fat Kid. Wow, we're gonna see an upset on one of the PR. Let's get fired up. Snake fat as fuck. A little bit. Oh, immediate run back. Okay. Shit, Fat Kid going off. I was, uh, I'll be honest, I was not expecting uh, Fat Kid to even take a game off of uh, Joel. And that's not because I, you know, have any... That's not to say anything bad of Fat Kid, it's more so to say how good Joel normally is. But uh, Fat Kid really shut me up right now. Huge start to the game, instant 64%. And is that gonna be... Yep, he misses the tech, that's the first stock going to Fat Kid. 
Are we at two O? Is this gonna happen? I, I don't know. I mean, Snake can make comebacks, but the other problem is that Snake has to damage her. It's already at eighty. Ooh, this is looking rough for Joel. Okay, there's the jab. <laughs> Just showing some soccer balls. I don't know why Joel's not opting to go for Nikita's offstage or let's trap more. He's playing a much more offensive game. Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it's probably not a, what what blah, blah, blah. it's probably not what I'd recommend uh, against uh, say Wii Fit Trainer. Ooh, Joel sneaking in that up tilt, evening up the stock count, but 150 though. Gets past the F tilt, just barely. Last through the invincibility, there's the deep breathing online still. Um. Okay, Joel starting to make a comeback, getting the damage on. 160% though. A lot of stuff will kill Joel right now. Including that down tilt, run up down tilt. I don't see that one that often. Is down tilt faster than... I imagine he went for down tilt because it's faster than up tilt, right? Ooh, low profiles the... He low profiled the, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh, Sun Salutation. I didn't even know Snake could do that. I just forget Snake actually has a crawl. Ooh, and that Nikita gonna be sneaking the last stock. Alright. Big percent lead by, uh, Fat Kid right now, but... Not out of the woodwork just yet. Joel's definitely still in this, and... Big combo, big damage. Ooh, uh, probably a pretty ill-advised sun salutation right there. Joel's starting to build the uh, <laughs> build up the damage deficit, and he's actually taking the lead off stage. Nikita doesn't kill yet, or Nikita misses. It probably wouldn't have killed, but it could have. Ooh, I'm actually amazed he didn't F tilt there. I don't know if it would have killed though, so maybe that's why he did and wanted to go for roll read uh, up tilt instead. Good getup attack by Fat Kid. He recognizes Joel's been going for uh, roll away, uh, roll away, um, covering the roll away with the up tilt. So kept him in it. But is he gonna be able to take the set though? If you're Fat Kid, you really don't want this to go to a game three. You want to end the set right now. Ooh, good grab. Dangerous grab. If that grab missed, that was the game. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. And there's the down tilt, but he gets down tilted himself. What are you doing, dude? Oh, guys, I'm playing so nervous. That dash attack gonna kill? It is! 1-1, one, one. we got a game three. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. That was a really close game. Super bottle a little bit sad that he doesn't get to play Fat Kid instead of Joel. Okay. Oh, just the wow. Okay, they just are content to play the entire set on PS2. Okay. I would have thought you'd maybe want a character counter pick, but or a uh, stage counter pick at least. And let's see how this one goes, though. Fat Kid absolutely could have won that. Oh, goes for the immediate forward air. I love those aggressive forward airs. I'm not, um... Actually, why am I saying? I'm not... So I feel, like, conflicted about them. Uh, I think they're better to go for at the beginning of the match when you don't have as much to lose and all you get is, like, a ledge trap off of it. Because uh, the forward air will kill that percent. But I also feel like Snake ledge trapping is good enough um, that and reliable enough that you ought to go for damage... But it's a decent mix-up to do every now and then, the runoff forward air. There's the back air. That was actually really, really tricky there, how he actually faded back in and out. We fits aerial drift is definitely better than uh, most people give it credit for. We fits movement in general, I would say. Although granted movement, not so much. 
Well, even then, she's pretty fast on the ground. There's the up air. And even game still. I agree, Super Bottle. Fat Kid's neutral is pretty solid right now. He's been getting a hell of a lot better uh, through these Wi-Fi weeklies. And I'm sure he's been practicing offline too, but... Like, I, I remember seeing Fat Kid play even just, like, a month ago, and he was... He would not have been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Joel. So it's, uh, you know, it's very cool to see. It's very cool to see play, uh, players getting get... Uh, it's very cool to see new players getting better. And the Hermiston guys in general, I think, have been leveling up a lot recently. I mean, like, Tiki Torch winning the Wi-Fi Weekly over Sin... Uh, Fimbleveter's just kind of been messing around with some other characters. Chichon's weird. Where's Fat Kid from? Fat Kid is from Hermiston. He's one of the Hermiston guys. Okay, there's the F tilt. Ooh, and the Makita gonna kill off the top. Wow. I would have thought it would kill off the- that was just like entirely vertical. I'm very surprised by that. Tiki got 7th in Nerdcore, that is correct. Ooh, big forward air. Percent lead, starting to go to... Joel starting to rack up a really big percent lead. Ooh, what a down smash. That was just a that was just a hard read, man. Like, I'm surprised that worked out. Alright, 26%. God, that charge shot's really nice. Back throw. Gonna go for the Nikita. Ooh, ho, ho. The hurt box shifting of the side B saved him there. I don't think Nikita would have killed yet, but it would not have been pretty. Would not have been a good situation to be in. There's the down tilt. One up tilt will kill right now. Oh, that's not... That ain't good. Ooh, good shield, Joel. A little bit too quick on the draw there. 41%. Uh, he might die. Forward throw? There's the Nikita. What are you doing, dude? That was a really bad deep breathing to go for. That was a really bad deep breathing to go for. But Fat Kid, still, props to him. He put on a really good set. Took Joel to last game, last stock. And, uh, yeah. It's fairly commendable, I'd say. Uh, well done to Joel. And we get the rematch between Super Bottle and uh, Joel Joestar. So, excited for that. Curious how this one will go.